Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Vanin and this is Salus That do you love being live? This is satisfactory. And that word's hard to say. Um There's been a lot going on in the background. There's been like really menial um, bits and pieces, lots of things to figure out. But they're all done really basic. Please let me know um, if the music is too loud. Um, as I am not sure whether it is or whether it isn't. So. Um, I've done a lot of railway work. Now. This all needs to be replaced. But it needs to be replaced with something that looks good. Here I'm just very much marking out, making sure everything connects properly and everything works fine. 
Um, and then I need to redo it all. Um, ignore this building that I'm, that I'm stood on. Now, I'm going to fly for a lot of this because these guys need to be able to see what the hell I'm talking about. I'm not 100% sold on this. I don't mind it. It looks okay. But it might change. Heads up. So, uh, we have a roundabout. Um, and if you've been watching my previous streams, then you'll know there is a video coming very shortly about how to do roundabouts. Um, they're not as hard as they look. Just a bit steppy so we're gonna do that also i'm going to do junctions and i'm going to do signals so i'm going to do um an episode on roundabouts junctions and signals and then i'm going to do a an episode on you didn't see that one of those well you're going to see it in a minute anyway so this is my central pub so central storage um first of all you have a train that comes in through the bottom so you have train stations one side is in the other side is out i'm not sure whether it's a legal requirement to like shake anything about that was a cheap joke i'd like to say i'm sorry but i'm not um so this is part way through being built um so you are going to see um a video based around about how this is built basically um it goes all the way down to join up with the um plastic and rubber factory so i'm pretty sure the next time we visit the plastic and rubber factory we will be able to start looking thinking about shipping the rubber to the um to the computer factory which will be good so why are we hovering around here well we need we need to make a blueprint because that looks awful i mean to be fair it does doesn't it we need to have supports we need you know all sorts of other bits and pieces um not too sure what we're going to do with the slopes yet i do like this edge here and effectively what i plan on there being is i finished it off somewhere I had no I haven't so the foundations we want the inverted ones so it would be here and effectively I'm going to do the same thing only upside down Inverted to me around and we'll just go that way and we'll just go that way so that just kind of like finishes it off there is then inverted I know there isn't there isn't something to go on there uh, I don't think anyway. No, I don't think there is. No. Oh, wrong way. So that's the idea behind that is to um, have that like that. Do. Should I go? Oh, no, no, no. Silly question. So, yeah. Be like that, and then you'll have supports. So, if I... Go like that. 
and then you would vertical support. down like that and then it, that will run along auto save awesome brilliant uh, that'll just carry on like that and then you'll probably have another thing like that. So there'll be quite a lot of those. But it's very slow, isn't it? So that's why we need stuff over here. So the, the zoop Oh, isn't particularly slow however because there's lots and lots of bits um involved in it all we need to do is we are going to need to um build up the layers of it um one by one so there's a very specific reason why i'm flying for this so you can actually see what the hell i'm doing um so if we go one two and then So if we zoop it over one so there we've got um very much what's going on over here so we have our three and then if i then take foundations and take a two millimeter foundation and place it on top and go like that now with blueprints you cannot place the tracks so the tracks are a no-no um that's okay so What I then want to do is we want to change that to the upside down one. We want to bring this along because obviously it's going to be carrying a train line, so it needs to be nice and secure. So if I need to put more supports and bits and pieces like that on it, well, but well, that is our support piece. So it's three wide support piece. It's a three by three with a part on it for us to, to go down to do the supports. Now, what are we going to do in the middle? Um, we're going to want a, a way of like being able to carry power, I feel. Even though the train line itself does carry power, um, I want to be able to light the, the, the train line. 
um, as we're going along. So we put a power pole in the middle there and then we grab some street lights so you can see the way the street light is facing. So you'd think putting it like this, but actually I'd like to say that this was my design, but I, I'm totally stealing this off, uh, off of somebody else. But there you can see um, them crossing over. So if we then take some power, or power line, sorry, there and there, and they're now linked. Um, The big frame. We need that. I don't think we do, to be honest. I suppose it really depends on, like, how fancy we want. We want stuff to be. Do we need... Do we need railings on it? Do we need some kind of a central divide? So if we went like that and then that and then we could grab Thank you. 
that works. And the train line runs through there, but you can't actually put the the train lines onto the blueprint makers because they don't work. I don't know what happened? I just know that they don't work. If I stick one on there. I then set myself up for a long, long task of like painting all of these. I wouldn't want them orange. Because again, I'm not 100% certain, but I don't know whether the, the painting feature thing works or not. require painting side I'm gonna have to come up with another blueprint um, for that So that will be our three by three support. So we'll be able to attach that and then obviously we will be able to do the this bit here. So we'll be able to bring that down to the ground. Now we said over there we stopped, we came up with a really good idea. Well I thought it was a good idea anyway. Um that we would then come off that and we would have like a platform. So if you see like over there, I know what I'm looking for. So there I've actually just placed a four by four foundation down. It's like one on top of the other. Um, and then put the, the tower on top of that. I can, you know, for, I can go and add a, like a, uh, a, a ladder to the side of it because it's got a ladder that goes all the way up to the to the top so I could add just a ladder onto the side and that would then you know fit in with the theme but I do feel like you wouldn't just place it on the ground you, you would put like a, a concrete footing down or something because um 
for the footings of like these here if I come down so I can either do um, so um, I could go just use concrete So go like that and do just the two concrete or go like that delete that one out delete that and come into architecture and we have the big pillar support delete the other one big pillar support and then use big concrete like that so we can either just go very very simple like that or we can go um like that one i'm liking that and the beauty of it is, is it can be any height you want it to be so technically because we already know we could go right let's delete you And then one, two, three. And I like that because it allows then for the difference in height adjustment uh, around here. So what I might do is that might actually end up being two or three um, or something like that or two or, or I, I don't know. Might alter some of these so that they are different heights or just leave them as is that's very much aesthetic stuff but, um yeah fan so come back up here that could be down the very very bottom of that so you have like i know three or four and then you've got the bit at the bottom um where you don't have room for that because I'm not going super high with any of this like over in that area there it's, it's not that high so it may just be like a concrete pad that it sits on um, but over here it won't um, over the back of here it definitely won't because it, it drops off like massively um, here and then goes down um, and then I've actually I've extended even further going out so there's going to be the site of the uh, the railway roundabout video so the the railway is coming down and then heading down then it heads back up that way again um, And it, it, it it's gonna cut up um 
Oh, it's cutting up through here. It's going to come down here. Um, and then we're going to, you know, bring it, bring it in through there. Um, I'm also, there's the Caterium there. I'm actually going to start trying to take it up so that I can get a train going from here. And then that train can then come down to the computer factory. Um, so yeah. In there, we'll make that into uh, stuff. And then I'll have a train going backwards and forwards. Might even have uh, another train then um, heading out back into... Uh, back into up here, so the, the roundabout is what here-ish, I reckon. So uh, have another train coming down this way, and then bringing the, the the rest of the quartz or crystal or whatever the hell it is, um, back to what's that? Coal plant power. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. So they, yeah, either come back to here. Or because this is a, this is going to be a quartz factory, so I might actually ship, you know, turn this into whatever it needs, and then ship it to to here by a train. So I wouldn't be shipping it; I'd be training it. Um. I also have some coal here. Um, there's plenty of iron. So I think we'll um, look at maybe a, a little steel factory here or something. You know, stick it over this water or something. And uh, get, some, get some more steel on the go. Might just turn this solely into um, the... What's it called? Uh, this stuff that I don't have very much of in case industrial beams might just make a factory just solely like making them um, if we can so I've been well and truly sidetracked so let's turn this into an actual blueprint So, you're being trains. Uh, cancel. So, the new blueprint's name is... Three by three. Port. Um, they don't call it a train, do they? Well, they're called railways. Oh, that's cool. Let's go with that. Love that image.
So yellow. Why not? Probably not the colour. What is the train colour? That dark colour, isn't it? A dark gold. Like an orange. Hear that? Saving that. So it's gonna go here, add blueprint here. Save the blueprint. Uh, we'll clear the designer. Uh, so, the next thing that we want is we want a. Architecture one frame. So I'm going to do for the main body, I'm going to do a four by four, sorry, four by three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Uh, foundations. We want this as grit metal. So, like that. Do actually do this one do invent so we then go to the architecture and do that like that and then we then we do the foundation Auto save taking forever. Pop 
Apologies if you can hear um, police cars in the background. I live in town centre. Then if we go... Power pole. I think that's going to work. I think that's a bit snazzy, is that? So, I'm going to set the colour, and I saved it, didn't I? Set colour, perfect. So, railway, set that. This is four by three. Four by three way railway. Almost said railway then. And I'm gonna set the directory as save the blueprint and then we can clear that um i want to go i want a foundation i want to go Big foot. Do I even want a foundation? Uh, do I even want a blueprint? This I probably don't actually. What I do want to do. Go foundation. And then that stick out. Oh, partially oh, overlapping. Brilliant. Not. Foundations go one meter foundation. And then go power thing. I think I'll keep these in the in the railway. No. That's not what I wanted to do. Darker maybe. I'll work. Power. Go with 
that one. Select. So, number eight, we can actually now go into blueprints and we can go to trains and we can then go uh, train line support, the main train line, and then that one. So, let us. Come over here and see if we can't. So let's delete. So let us take number one. Okay, so we're going to have to go do this ever so slightly different. So what we're going to do is we're going to take architecture frame and go underneath it and we need to go vertical and we're going to come down to the floor. Now. So it is one, two, and then three. And then you got the one on the top. The one on the top. So one, two, three.
So that's still not going to work. Let's hope that is. I suppose it doesn't really matter which way it's going because it's. Uh, how have I messed that up so much? Went out by one too many, didn't I? Blueprint. That now should line up a bit too high. Why is it a bit too high? Because it's one of them. we've got that first one down it should be really really simple to do the rest so if I now come back over here and then press number two change it to blueprint it should it says no and I know why because I built it on the floor so that blueprint needs to change so if we load a blueprint so we go to this one what we need to do is i need to delete this
right so the bottom one then the next layer So, if I then... delete those then we go over to here and then we save the blueprint uh, clear. and now if we head back over here that should have fixed it because it, it understands the height that it's at inside the blueprint maker so he says he's fixed it still not fixed why is it still not fixed because that's one two and then three i think i need to take it up by one more Probably would have been handy to have looked at the uh, blueprint itself.
Yeah. That would be correct. Should work. He says. Yep, there we go. So now I can just bang, 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 go along um, and do all of these. Um, we're not going to do that on camera because. That could be quite boring because I'm going to have to delete all of this out. But I made the mistake of going off grid. There, There is a way of doing turns but staying on the grid. And I don't know what that is at the moment, but I'm going to learn how to do it. Um, and then I will obviously share whatever knowledge that I, uh, I, I, I build and, um, and then share it. But you will notice that if I head down to here. Here there are a few couple of little funky turns where things don't quite line up. So just here. They don't quite line up. So I'm going to try and utilize the the blueprint as best as I possibly can to um or and also maybe build up some of the pieces around it um so maybe build a structure around this area um because I've got two lines effectively coming together on it rather than do anything else maybe just try and disguise it with just a building round round it kind of thing um um i need to spur off from here to go into that factory over there like i've already done over here So here there's already like, the train um at the moment it's just like one train so therefore there's just the one line so that's why this junction looks a little bit funny compared to compared to any others but um it doesn't look like the junction that you have over there because it's just the one train it'll always be coming on the central storage gets to back here somewhere will then spur off into here do what it needs to do and then it will then come back and head off back down there um 
that's what it is at the moment. It may change dramatically because I like I said, I don't know what's what I need to go into here and what resources are around that I can utilize. It might end up being like a proper junction, but I just want to get everything lined up properly um, and then be able to go from there. So somewhere back here, I'm going to have to spur off. I'm kind of thinking maybe somewhere around about here to spur off and then head up over there but I may find that a bit tricky I'm not too sure or I might just try and spur off from here because well you know if I come across and, and like down from there from the fixed point there and then try and bring it into here if I'm going to build some kind of like a housing around to disguise this abomination then hmm. not too sure Let's do this section. So train line goes in a straight line, 12 foundations. We've got three and then we will do one, a one, two, three, and then we will do the support and then one. and three I'm very well aware you wouldn't have been able to see very much what's going on there but that's what it'll then look like So, here is a glaring um, error on my behalf. So the support beams look very different because I should have come down here. So we're going to end up having to make that... Uh... Oh, no, I'll just save. Hurry up. Let's go and update the blueprint.
Right. So, wait the nine millionth time. Save, confirm. Oh yeah. Got rid of that. And there we go. Now, now it works. So now we'll just be able to bring those down, bring those down, and then that's then that. And then we can look at rerunning like our power here so the way that it runs down we'll have it running side by side with the um with this so we grab one of these and we want it to go vertical But we are then gonna delete that out. Probably that as well. So we're gonna go foundations, we change this to concrete. Delete that out. Go back to architecture. Big pillar support. Come on. On there. On there. That works.
So you'd run off. And then you'd climb up and then you can climb up the next one. So you can see how fast that this all starts to like come together. And I can probably delete out like this pole. And this one. And just purely and simply because I had to do this uh, in another playthrough. I'm going to make another um, middle piece. So it'll be the middle, middle piece. Um, sorry, like, no, uh, the two outer pieces to so this piece and the other piece, and it won't have this pole in it. Just so that I don't have to keep coming along and having to delete out two of the poles. But effectively, this will allow me, this will allow um, power to run along here. Now, I didn't want to have one of these at every single one of these junctions, because that's just totally overkill. So running power along here um, is pretty good. I think what I'll do is, is this middle one I'll put lights on it as well I think that's probably the best bit so then this will all light up I delete that and delete that and out the old power line There to there. And there to there. Not sure why the lights haven't come on. But, uh, this effectively will then all link in to this power pole over here, probably. Um, or I might set it up here. I might like set up a little room on the inside or something. I don't know. And have a light control. That way all of these lights we would be able to control them. Then.
not sure I actually like that. I actually think I quite prefer the flat side. Yeah. yeah. likes I can't even remember who I, I, I learned this off, to be honest. It's architecture so it's going to be bits or total eclipse or something like that, isn't it? Wondering whether these are even necessary. I got the railings, didn't I? sure whether those power poles are necessary. I like that. Okay, 
so this is never going to be a long stream um i wanted to show people how you can utilize the blueprint maker and then also show you how fast um like your railway line goes once you've nailed down your, that design and how quickly you can like change the design you can load it in you can make changes you know make multiple um different ones um yeah so short stream just an hour and a half um i need to go away and do these videos um but uh thank you very much to everybody who has watched live or will be watching potentially later on um if there is anything you would like me to do videos on like specific ones so i'm going to dedicate uh, a video to making um roundabouts junctions and signals um if there's a specific thing you'd like me to uh, to make a video on uh, with satisfactory then feel free to put in the comments um but until the next time Look after yourselves.